Hey everybody, this is Chris with Intellect uh, coming to you from our facility here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, thanks for joining us today. And uh, what I would like to talk to you about uh, is specific to the ITE HK breaker type. So those of you that have these type breakers, uh, either 5 kV or 15 kV at your facility, we're going to talk today about the actual interlock accessory for the Interac remote racking system. We've made some really cool upgrades in our latest design. So I kind of like to show you a comparison. Uh, those of you that, are, that have these type breakers are already familiar with this interlock accessory. And what I would like to do is show you the differences and the improvements on the new design. So let's get to it. So what we've done with the new design is we've actually made the mounting points on the top of the metal itself. So it's two keyed slots and we have shoulder bolts on top of the motor where it just sets on and you slide it back. And then we have a pin on the side that's spring loaded that actually uh, attaches and secures the accessory in place. So with the new design, no longer do you have to be concerned with the tipping forward while the breaker is being racked. You don't have to worry anymore about uh, a long nut driver and getting access to the studs inside here with the nuts and all that. So uh, it just, it literally takes five seconds. And I'm gonna show you, show you guys how it actually attaches to the motor right now. All right, so to simply install this, and it is very simple is you set the keyed slots on top of the shoulder bolts and slide it back. That's simple. And now we're connected, we're ready to go. We're actually ready to connect the racking system to the breaker. The only other thing we need to do is plug in the accessory on the front of the terminal strip, which you guys are familiar with. And now we're gonna take our racking screw. And well, prior to that, we need to raise the elevation of the motor carriage. So the operator is lined up with the operator on the breaker. And one of the cool features we've added to our latest design racking system is elevator buttons, physical buttons on the side of the unit. So now, no longer, if you don't have your screen ready, readily available, you can just press the buttons to raise the elevation of the motor carriage. So we're gonna put the racking shaft connections we're going to lower it a little bit, get ourselves in position, release our brakes, pull it forward. All right, we need to raise it a little bit. That's it. All right, so now we're connected and we are ready to go. All right, so now we're gonna actually rack the breaker. And for those of you that have our system already, you're somewhat familiar with this. So we're gonna select racking unit control. We're gonna select rack breaker. And this is our disclaimer that simply states you're qualified to operate and work on electrical equipment. On the next screen, for the purpose of the demonstration, we just have the ITHK breaker racking uh, parent button. When you make that selection, it brings you to the actual breaker profile loading uh, button, which is the ITEHK 4.16 kV 1200 amp breaker. That is the type breaker that we have here in our shop. And when we select this, it gives us our confirmation screen that identifies what we selected. It identifies the type of parameter set that was loaded from the PLC and it also identifies the accessory numbers that we need to operate the uh, this breaker type. So we move to the next screen and this is where we would actually physically connect the racking unit to the circuit breaker but since we're already connected there's nothing further we need to do on this screen. Uh, on this next screen this is where we determine what direction we're going to rack. So currently the breaker is in the disconnect position and we want a rack to connect. So we're gonna select our virtual switch to racking to connect position. 
Now we'll go to the next screen and it tells us to confirm that the motor is in position two, which it is. And on this next screen is our set of safety checklists. Are the breaker, is the, are the brakes set on the unit? Uh, are the breaker contacts open? Have all manual interlocks been operated? Have all site safety policies been followed? And are you in a safe location? And we will move to the next screen. And this is where we actually initiate our racking sequence. For those of you who aren't familiar with our latest generation Interact 3 platform, we've actually streamlined some of the information on this screen to make it a little more user friendly and not too, too much information. Um, so we're gonna initiate the rack to connect sequence. Right now, the motor just went through its engage and set process. We're operating the interlock on the HK breaker and now the racking sequence has begun. So as the breaker racks, we have some pieces of information here. In that little box on the top is the actual torque set point that's being monitored. The little green box in the middle is the distance that the interlock has traveled and it actually just released because we passed the test position on the breaker. And then the box on the bottom is actually indicating the turns that are left to rack in the connect position. And so now the breaker travel just slowed down because we're almost in the connect position. And when the interlock actually clicks in in the connect position, the breaker racking process is completed and we actually get the complete indication. So now that we've completed the racking process on the breaker, uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to disconnect from the breaker and remove the accessory. So if you were going to rack uh, a breaker type that didn't require the interlock accessory, all you would do is loosen your brakes, remove the unit, slide it back from the breaker, take our racking screw, put that away unplug our interlock accessory and then there's a pin on the side that we pull to release it and then we just slide it forward and we take it off. That's simple.